Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Fairy of Love, how are you? Welcome to your weekly horoscope. Well, they see this week the sun is in the sign of nitty gritty perfectionist Virgo. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. I love you. The moon will travel in the signs of Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius. And also this week it's all about change. Change is in the air all week and it's all for the better good personally and collectively. Last week, summer. Yes, that means next week it will be autumn. On Tuesday, we have a very big news for the third time and the last time. Mars, planet of energy, that's very important in astrology, will make a square. That's not so good, but it sort of helps again for the light to conquer darkness. For the last time this year, to Uranus. Uranus is the planet of change. It gives you a shock. It really kicks you behind a little bit in order for you to do the changes you need to do. And that's it. And we don't have any uh, excuses. This week we will be inclined to do so. Mars, thank God, is going forward. That's the planet of energy of everything to do with the material world. But Uranus is going backwards, retrograde, and that's good because they sort of balance each other out. And Uranus is the high hierarchy of Mars. So it's sort of like moderating a little bit the Martian energy. And it brings a new beginning. And the end of some madness and craziness that we have been experiencing now for about a year and a half. And also some solution, resolution to some personal and also global conflicts that, that are now in play. And the good news also will happen in the political world. And also solutions and hope in our personal life. Many of us will decide that instead of going here, we will go there and we will do the right thing for us and the people we love. It's a fabulous week in that, in that aspect. Friday, it's the end of the week, will be pretty uh, smooth because then all those changes going on it will end in a very nice energy lighting them up and we'll feel sort of happy and up and about and somehow more united and also it's very important because guess what it is on Friday happy United Nation Day of Peace so let's really connect and do something fabulous on Friday. Let's go out with friends and celebrate peace and love everywhere we go. And also Friday, very big news. It's all perfectly synchronized by the universe. Mercury planet of communication will enter the sign of love and peace Libra that will bring more rational, more balance, more justice in the news, in the political arena, in communications, all in general for the next uh, three weeks. You will see uh, like a, a balancing factor in saying, oh, so what goes around comes around after all. Nobody fools anybody and now the light will start catching up a little bit with the dark. But it's all good because the dark, what it is really, it's the shadow of the light. Anyways, I'm writing a book right now and you'll be able to. I'll explain to you what all that is. Just trust me with this, okay? Virgo, Virgo, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Let me be Marilyn for you today to say happy birthday to you. Mercury, your ruler, entering your financial sector brings a new exciting beginning, more freedom of action, especially when it comes to money and security. In the next six months, your whole routine of your life will definitely change and undergo a magical transformation that will make you very happy. It starts on your birthday and this is the last week for Virgos to celebrate, so do it. Make a wish it will be granted all week. A lover may surprise you in a very special way or you may, you may get an invitation from somebody that goes like, wow, I love it, say yes. On the weekend, pamper yourself and take care of your health and your beauty. Be ready for greatness. Remember, your magical color move, lucky numbers, 4 and 17. Libra, while well, Mercury entering your sign makes you the star of the week. Yes, it brings more balance into your life. You see things also more clearly about people's intentions and the role they play in your life. Relationships are smoother. All you're investing right now is really going to pay off long time. For the next six months, give the best you can. In career, you have the power, so make a wish. It will be granted 
ask and you shall receive. On the weekend, it brings strong feelings and also a sense of personal satisfaction. Good for you, Libra. See a magical color pick. Ta-da! Lucky numbers 2 and 29. Ta-da! Scorpio, you are like a tiger this week. Yes, no one can stop you from being the best you can be. You've been to all kinds of things going around and around, and now, wow, things are starting to make sense. Mercury, planet communication entering your spiritual sector brings you more peace of mind and more leadership. You're in charge of your destiny and career and your health and your beauty and your love life, and you're seeing like a rainbow in your skies. An affirmation that you've done a couple of months ago is now starting to pay off. Just keep your thoughts positive. Believe in miracles. In love, go slow, be patient and kind. Believe in love and it will manifest in your life. On the weekend, it's very sweet, very cozy. Ah, you're catching your breath. Definitely, if making love could be a very nice therapy for you, you need huggings these days. Remember, it's the, it's the week of love and peace, so take advantage. Have fun this weekend. Your magical color fuchsia, lucky numbers 3 and 21. ta -da! Sagittarius, well, Mercury entering your social sector brings popularity and answers about relationships with family, friends, co-workers, and even a lover. In career, you are definitely in charge and definitely have more freedom of action. Just make sure to sell yourself. Don't go there humble. Be proud. A good time also to reflect on what you really want out of your life and what you want to accomplish in the next five years. You're planting the seeds now, so don't make concessions. Neither in work, neither financially, and neither in love. Cancer Taurus flirt with you. If you're single, you'll have a ball. On the weekend, you will feel like a million dollar cash. Wow, well, you are the luckiest sign of the zodiac. And remember, in November, you will have Jupiter entering your sign, so get ready. Your magical color red, lucky numbers, 1 and 46. ta -da! Capricorn, Capricorn, the wise one, Mercury. Planet communication entering your career sector brings you good news in health, family matters, and also family situations are more stable and people appreciate you in your personal life. In career and social life, you have new values and you're starting from this week, you sort of do things in a different manner and it's a good idea. Listen to the advice of other people as well. In love, you are definitely going places. If you are single, you could fall in love. If you are married, you could fall in love all over again. You should organize some kind of romantic getaway if you do. Movies, books, seminars, trips, philosophy inspire you. And on the weekend, you feel absolutely joy in your heart. And it feels so good. Your magical color lilac, lucky number 6 and 17. Aquarius, Mercury entering your karmic sector. Bring inspiration, peace of mind, awareness of who you are. You discover also... The reason of why people do what they do in your life and it's a very good week to really work on your self-image your spiritual values and also push on your goals you really really see things more clearly this week and it feels really good for the next month get ready for more changes in your appearance in your thinking in your friendship in your love life in your lifestyle in general and it's all good for you on the weekend love knock knock in your door definitely should open because hmm, joy awaits. Your magical color turquoise like in numbers 3 and 21. Ta-da! Pisces, Pisces! Well, Mercury entering your Shun Resources Center bring you luck in partnerships. It also puts you in contact with your artistic side, helping you also to better understand your relationships in your life. In career, you're moving forward with your goals with enthusiasm. It's all beginning to make sense. Whatever, if you got a new job or you are looking for one, this is a good week to really make things happen. You're gonna get a yes or a green light one way or the other. If you're trying to sell something, buy something, it's good too. In personal life, a lot of emotions are going through right now. Okay, it's very important to really listen to your heart, not to your mind. You will feel very inspired. And in romance, love is definitely your present in your present. So enjoy all the way. Don't close the door. Let it all open. More than ever, you feel your personal power this week. With whom? With what? Where do you want to go? How do you want to spend the rest of your life? It's pretty much on your mind. And you may have to make some choices this week. So do listen to your beautiful heart. Take action and follow your dreams because success 
joy and even ecstasy awaits. On the weekend, joy definitely is part of your life and it's very important, the more you will give, the more you will receive. Your magical color, turquoise, lucky numbers, six and nine. Aries, Aries, Mercury, planets, communication, entering your relationship sector, green charm, sex appeal, adventure, and solutions in some relationships. You're seeing the bigger picture about your future, especially in love. In career, timing is very, very important, and the problem that you were worried about will be solved in your favor. You were worried for nothing. A good week also to revise your goals and dreams. The bigger you think, the better it is. In love, ask and you shall receive. Let go of the past. Don't hang out with people who are not worthy of you. Love yourself and you will find happiness. On the weekend, well, laughter and tenderness awaits. Enjoy. Your magical color orange, lucky number 6 and 11. Play lottery. Taurus, well, make this week the first week of the rest of your life because woo, the planets are smiling at you and Mercury entering your work sector bring a new exciting beginning in personal life and for the next few months get ready to be reborn again in a very strange, unusual, surprising way. All right? And it's all for the better. You attract prosperity, recognition, financial gains and also if you're looking for something different, a new way to make money, a project, or if you want to find the perfect partner in love, this is the couple of weeks starting this week is really working in your favor. It's all good news. In other way, holly holly. Leo, cancers really show they care. And on the weekend, relax, meditate. Just dream about what you're going to do with all the games. Your magical color green, lucky numbers 11 and 45. Ta-da! Gemini, Gemini, Mercury, your ruler entering your creative sector really bring luck. Enlightenment, wings and breakthroughs. Positive changes are definitely in the air for you. Go for it all. Just move forward. Forget about the past, even certain people in the past. Bye. Bye-bye. Also comfort zone, safe routine, you know, easy going. Now be daring. Welcome a new life, a new lifestyle, new ideas, looking different, being slim, being fit and truly being the best you could be. This is the decision that you will make this week. In career, take the bull by the horns and make things happen and change what you need to change. If you, if you did something wrong, fix it and just make it happen. Ambition, leadership, very strong this week and also a creative project you've been working on, entertainment, show business, publicity, an artist project, it works wonders. On the weekend, do something fun with a loved one or a special friend. Your magical color, gold, lucky numbers, 3 and 12. Cancers, that's me, ta-da! Mercury entering your home sector brings peace of mind. Your charisma, your sex appeal, your confidence is very high. And in career, you're definitely on the path of something big. So just show up and look the part. Believe in yourself with all your heart and make a spectacular entrance everywhere you go because people will applaud you. Somehow you happen to be at the good place, at the good time with the right people when it comes to shared resources and partnerships. In love, romance is definitely in the air. You feel loved and appreciated. So expect your heart to go boom, boom this week. Ecstasy awaits for some if you're single. And in career, definitely it's a good week to make your strategies and promote yourself with everything you've got. Your success is guaranteed. Just show up. On the weekend, you shine like a star. Everybody wants a piece of you. Lucky you. And of course, your magical color is pink. Lucky numbers nine and six. Leo, Leo, well, Mercury entering your communication sector. Bring a lot of clarity in your mind about personal relationship and professional project. You shine this week. Somehow, within the next few months, you will see your whole life taking shape in a way that is pretty amazing financially and also in career. And some of you may even fall in love. And this week you're going to feel like motivated. You're going to spread your wings. What really, really you want to accomplish in your life, you have to focus on that this week. Meditate about what are your goals. The focus is also on the truth, self-awareness, and your ability to make your life royalty. That's what you are made for, royalty. Make peace with the past too. And in health, you should feel way better this week. And at work, keep your cards close to your chest. Like I'll say, Friday, you can do what you want. But from Saturday all the way to Friday, don't reveal all. Be a little mysterious. On the weekend, relax, pamper yourself royally. Your magical color gold, lucky numbers, 8 and 53. 
And now here's your wisdom affirmation of this very exciting week of change where things will start to flow better. Remember in life, everyone, anything is possible. Everything is negotiable, especially with pure intentions. Try it. You like it. Happy, happy United Nations Peace Day for all of us in our personal life, in our nation, in the whole world. Imagine all the people living for today. It will happen. The Aquarian Sage is on the way. Mm -hmm. And thank you very much for all your likes, for your love, for your feedback, for your compliments, for all the beautiful things that you send me all the time. I really love you. If you need a little reading on the phone, I could do it all over the world. And you will be happy because I could help you in love, in career, in finances, in health, in anything. Because me, I'm good just to make your thinking on the right side of the light so you could really face any kind of darkness easily. I'm the fairy of love. Remember? Bye.